Hey everyone, it's Maria Fontana, your favorite business consultant, helping luxury salons and many spas scale to their next level. So here today, I'm gonna to talk to you about the importance of being on brand and showing up consistently in your online space. So one of the biggest mistakes I see when clients come to me and we start working together is that their brand is scattered all over the place. Now there's a lot of talk in the online spaces. What's branding? What does branding mean? Now my take on branding is how you show up, how you show your energy, and how you present yourself that makes someone's emotion when they see you. Like when someone sees my logo or someone sees my picture, they know, my brand, they know that I'm vibrant, they know that I'm very energetic, they know that I love wearing colored glasses, they know that I show up with business growth help and that I always give tons of value and results. Does that make sense? So as a salon owner, I want you guys to think about your brand, yes. Number one, should you have professional logos? Absolutely, but with technology today, you can hire someone on Fiverr or Upwork or have someone on your team, one of your VAs, create those products for you or just outsource them. These should not be things that you should be even doing at the level you're at in the scaling process. These things should be all be outsourced. So making sure that your logo, your brand colors, your image, that you have great professional photos, things are all on brand, meaning they're consistent on all platforms. So if you look, as an example, if you look at my platforms, if you look at my mariafontana.com, it's all on brand. It's very consistent. It matches with my YouTube channel, Business Growth Made Easy. It matches with my podcast, Business Growth Made Easy. Instagram, everything is very on brand. My logo's on brand. The minute people see that MF inside of the star, they know that's me. They know I'm going to make them feel better. They're going to get some great tips and tools on how to scale and grow their salon business and immediately it makes them feel excited and happy. I represent a good experience. So same thing with our brick and mortar businesses, our salons, our medispas, our holistic and wellness practitioner businesses. When people see you and your consistent, consistent on brand showing up online, it should evoke an emotion that is a positive emotion. This is the most powerful thing in the world. Number two with showing up online is make sure you're very clear as to the audience you're speaking to. So this might sound new or preposterous to some salon owners, especially if you know, you've been doing things for the same for a long time, which many of us have, but it's time to evolve and grow and scale your practice. So you might want to think about who's your ideal audience. Do you even know what that means? Meaning, what do you guys do better than anyone else in your area? What's the one thing that sets you apart? Do you work with, are you a budget salon? Are you a known for your Botox? Are you known for your hair removal? Are you known for your blonding, for your balayage? Do you work with working moms? Do you cater to CEO women? Do you cater to the affluent? These are all really critical things to really honing in because if you don't know who you're talking to, you're talking to everyone and then you're just going to be a generalist salon, many spawn salon, which moving forward into the next five to 10 years, I see the business forecast that the specialties are where the money's going to be. The riches are going to be in the niches and the real profits are gonna be in the specialties. Just think about your own experiences. Wouldn't you rather go to a specialist if you need something done, like a heart surgeon? But not only a heart surgeon if you had a heart problem, uh, the heart surgeon for that specific heart problem that you need help with. Do you see where I'm going with this? So really sit down and think about what your brand looks like. Do you need a rebranding? Don't be afraid to rebrand. Rebranding so much fun, fresh. It draws attention. People like the action. But if, if you have a brand that you love, then think about are you showing up on consistently on all your social media? And is your message clear? This is the next topic I want to talk about. Messaging. Messaging simply means are you talking to those ideal clients that we just talked about in the lingo that really gets them in the heart. People will move away from pain much faster than they will move towards pleasure. I learned this from one of my amazing mentors myself years ago. What does that mean? Well, if someone's got you know, gray hair or you know, their hair's frizzy, I'm just making up examples, or they have wrinkles, 
that is their pain point. Like that is the thing that is annoying them. If they need their teeth whitened, it is the thing that is keeping them up at night. So you have to step into your ideal client's head and say, what is keeping my ideal client up at night? What is making this person feel stressed? What do they need from me? What is the one result that I can deliver better than anyone else that they're gonna come to me and I can deliver to them on a silver platter? The, that is your messaging and that messaging should be clear everywhere. Like my messaging, all of you already know if you've been following me a while, I'm gonna help you create more profits with less stress. It is very crystal clear. There's no doubt about what I do. My expertise, you're not in doubt about what my expertise is about, right? So that's what you gotta make sure you also implement into your marketing strategy. So I hope these few tips and tools were helpful. If they're the first time you're hearing about these things and it's, it's overwhelming, that's okay, be nice to yourself. But in the scaling process, and as one of the growth strategies that I will help many, many of my clients implement, there's, there's so many more than these. It just depends on what your business needs, where you're at, and what the next level looks like, and where you're willing to go, and where you want to go. Where do you want to go in the next six to nine months? Where do you want to go in the next year? Where, imagine what that's going to feel like if you input, incorporate all the right strategies, all the right mindsets, optimize your business, and have things running smoother than you ever did before. It is time to up your game. And if you're ready to up your game, I'm ready to hop on a call with you. So you know the gig, click the link below, click the link above. Let's hop on a five minute call. If you don't want a consultation call, five minutes. Let's see if I can help you and we'll move forward from there. I'm sending you lots of abundance and prosperity and hoping that everything works out just the way you want. Looking forward to connecting with you guys. Give me a call.